The Ghost in the Shell, starring Scarlett Johansson, a 2017 release in 3D, a one hour and 47 minute movie, a one to 1.15 aspect ratio film. You will not get the black bars at the top and the bottom. Let's talk a little bit about this movie. This movie came out in 2017. You, in 2017, might have went to the movies and said, you know what, I'm going to go see a sci-fi movie. I'm going to see ScarJo running around tight bodysuit, a lot of action, and walk out. You say, yeah, it's pretty good. Maybe I'll see it again, maybe I won't. Well, you cheated yourself. I'm telling you right now, you've cheated yourself if that's all you've done to watch this movie. Now, this movie is an adaptation of the 1995 anime classic, The Ghost in the Shell. You need to go back and watch that. You need to watch it. And a lot of folks that have watched that movie said they have to watch it three and four times before they even understand what's going on. And so, you know, expect that. And then come back and watch this. If you've already watched this, go back and watch the anime and then come back and watch this. I did it in a two-step process. I watched this twice, then I went back and watched the anime. I came back here for the third time, and it all made sense. And it's so much more beautiful and so much more entertaining now that I've watched that anime. So enough about the anime. I will review that one day. Let's talk about this movie. There was some controversy involved here. Uh, and let's talk about the 3D. Let's talk about the plot first. Um, it's a story about a young lady that gets in an accident. Her parents were killed in an accident. The only thing left they can salvage of her, uh, ScarJo, uh, Major, that's her character. The only thing they can salvage is her brain. They create a cyborg out of her or an artificial intelligent person, uh, but it is her brain and that is the ghost. And the shell is the, the body that they created for her. So that's where they get the ghost in the shell. Uh, she keeps having these flashbacks um, of her past. They, they don't quite jive with what they're telling her past was, so she tries to solve her past while she's fighting this crime. And she also not only finds out about her past, but she finds out about the past of the villain in this movie. And that's where things really get emotional. It's hard to believe that a science fiction movie would have a lot of emotion especially a lot of human element when it, it involves uh, cyborgs and, and, and enhanced bodies uh, that happen so far in the future, but the human element in here, there's a family element in here. It's absolutely heartwarming, fantastic. Uh, I'm telling you, you cheated yourself if you didn't watch that anime. All right, so let's talk about now, we'll talk about ScarJo. She knocked it out of the park. There could not have been a better actress to play her. Uh, she plays major to the T. I can't imagine anybody that would have played a better part than her, uh, played it better than her. Now, uh, that's part of the controversy. Part of the controversy is she wasn't an Asian actress. Well, uh, they went over to Japan when this came out. They interviewed some folks there and they said, hey, she didn't have to be Japanese. She did a great part. It's a great movie and she did a great part. And when you go and you watch the anime, uh, there are some Japanese actresses and actresses, and there, there are some that aren't. Um, so it, you know, the controversy, it, it really knocked the movie down, and I think it got a lot of criticism because of that that it didn't deserve. Okay, that's my take on that. Let's talk about the 3D. The 3D is absolutely incredible. It's amazing. It's amazing. The depth is absolutely nuts. The pop outs, the stick outs, got guns sticking out. You got things popping out, making you jump. Uh, whoever did the post conversion on this uh, really just knocked it out of the park. It's absolutely, absolutely incredible. Um, it'll suck you in. I want to say this about the 3D. If you're watching this in front of a projector, uh, I don't know if this works with the TV too, but if you're off to the side, get to the center of the screen, get under that projector. It makes a world of difference. Uh, things are really coming into the room at that point okay so I want to say that about 3d I want to say this I'm going to give this movie ghost in the shell I'm going to give the movie itself 5.0 and the 3d 5.0 was done so well so well um, pick this up you won't be disappointed make sure you go back and watch that anime the 1995 anime especially if you've only watched this once and you put it back on the shelf hey I watched it twice and I put it back on the shelf I found out about that anime, I went back and watched it, and it just brought it all together. 
unbelievably brought it all together. It's incredible, incredible. All right, so um, what did you think? Did you see it? Did you see it 3D? Did you see it 2D? Did you see it at the theaters? Uh, what did you think about the controversy about ScarJo not being Asian? Let's talk about that. Uh, leave some comments below and let me know. Hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps me out. And I'm going to have some, some more awesome reviews coming up. So uh, do that, please. And you know what? Stay safe in these, these times. And have a good night. And as always, God bless.